Uh, how many times have you been to the seminar? I don't know. I believe you the normal seminar seven times, one time to the hardcore seminar, and this time is the eighth time. In August 2010-ish, what business were you in, Marcus? In the lumber business. Mm -hmm. uh, with a sawmill, where we, um, we bought trees, logs, and cut them to slides and whatsoever. Yes. The, uh, the opposite of a tree hugger. Correct, yes. <laughs> that was my first given name in the seminar, the tree hugger. Correct, correct. Uh, from, which from Mikey the Pizza Boy. Ultimately uh, pivoted into the real estate development that you're in now. Is that right? Uh, mm, not totally. Um, the, sawmill, uh, the sawmill business was converted to a sauna building company right now. And uh, of course, uh, this was very good in the COVID-19 times. We had big gains in revenue and income because everybody wants to have his own sauna at home. And um, this company is doing quite well. Uh, I mean, it's not a big company, it's a very small company, but we're expecting this year about 60% uh, growth in revenue and we're expecting about... Uh, well, that's good, that's good. Uh, do you think that, that business is gonna maintain that kind of growth level um, as uh, Corona subsides? Uh, we made a test or we requested our customers and uh, this test said that we round about profit about 35% of the revenue came from customers which now want to have a, a sauna uh, which probably gonna buy or would have buy, uh, bought it later on so we expect that the, the revenue jumps which jumped 60% 35 or 30% of that is because of COVID which means we are still better than the market we have a great product but we will see when COVID is over whenever it's over. Um, so, the, the, uh, when did you get into the property development business and what was your first deal? My first deal was a development project with 14 flats. Um, I had no clue about anything there and basically <laughs> um, in these times uh, the sales guy from the lumber business uh, showed up uh, in, in my office and said um, we should buy a meadow in Felden. That's, that's a small place in Carinthia, which is, I would say, one of the most favorite uh, tourist hotspots in Austria. It's near the lake or it's on the lake, at the lake. And uh, he said, we should buy a meadow. And I said, well, what, what should we do there? I mean, what do I do with a meadow? Should I do you want from me? Yes. And he said, uh, no, we're going to build there some uh, real estate. Uh, I had really no clue. And then I, I started to collect all the figures, uh, figures which were uh, necessary like the building costs with the banks and so on and I talked with all of them and um, of course 2010 in uh, October I guess it was October um, I was at my first uh, seminar cool sem seminar here by Mr. Pena and uh, of course I knew at this time that I had to change my model because with lumber business it was not possible to do QLA uh, the margin is so slow uh, so small and um, there was just no chance. So it was clear to me I had to change. And uh, that was the jump in real estate. Uh, and these times we made, now I have developed it, I have sold it and so on. We made in percent, we made uh, about 30% on revenue. That means uh, we had 3 million revenue and the income was around about 800,000 euro. 2018, that was my best deal if I measured it in percentage, not in the total amount, but in percentage that was the best deal, deal 2008.